try. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I tried this one once, and uh, some kind of giant dog, I imagine it's uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog size, uh, decided uh, to let me know that he or she was there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question is from Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. Um, hi, Ben. I'm a local musician. Oh, neat. Yeah. Um, yeah, respect. My band typically plays in bars and restaurants. I know places are starting to open back up, and many of my friends are hopeful that we'll be back to normal soon. Oh, yeah. And so I'm guessing you may be making your living off uh, being a musician, and so this has got to be, yeah, really tough. Ooh, yeah. Um, I, however, have not shared this optimism. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, uh, will it be longer before we can open up? Am I being reasonable? When do you think um, uh, venues can start to host shows? Will it be like this summer? Yeah, boy, I, that's a good question. So um, you can look at this uh, with the numbers, yeah, as we often do. Um, the numbers in Texas right now are real bad. Uh, so by local, I'm assuming Texas, because, yeah, I don't know, I'm in Texas, and we kind of assume this is the world, I guess. I'm starting to get into it, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying, yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, so the numbers in Texas right now are going up, 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 up ever since uh, they opened up uh, the state again. It's being spun as uh, that we're doing more tests, and so we're just catching some of the other cases that were already out there. Like, I don't know if we had one out of 10 cases that were actually being reported and tested, you know, and the other nine are off gleefully spreading the virus or something like that, but uh, yeah. It, that seems uh, like a reasonable estimate uh, from what the uh, modelers tell me. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I, I, right now there are about three times as many daily cases as there were at the point where Texas shut down the state. So <laughs> we're, we're reopening, we're following the reopening plan, but I had a look through that thing and it doesn't actually have a, um, a contingency built in for what if things don't don't go well it's sort of a Pollyanna plan where as long as everything goes perfectly and everything is awesome yeah and it's cool when you're part of a team then um, yeah everything will be okay and we can just open up step by step um, but uh, yeah so as for when will it be safe so all right so if you had a band in there if it's an instrumental band and you're wearing masks I feel like that is probably gonna be somewhat safe um, if you're inside of a closed space, it does fill up pretty quickly with virus particles when you have a person in there who is talking. So if you assume that there's like one COVID positive person there uh, at a show, it's, ma it's a matter of physics. Like how long does it take that person to kind of fill the room? And uh, these respiratory droplets from talking that I think we um, uh, mentioned in an earlier video are gonna hang in the air. Some of these things will be in the air for 50% um, of them will drop out um, after about uh, 14 minutes. And uh, the last ones will still be in the air something like an hour, uh, maybe even two hours after they're actually breathed out. And so it is kind of like a helium balloon except you're filling it with coronavirus instead of uh, helium. <laughs> so you, <ew>, yeah. <laughs> um, if you had everybody in masks except maybe the singer up front, then the singer would be at risk, but the singer would probably be putting the people in front of them at risk. Um, yeah, I'm imagining the people that bought the VIP seats right uh, front and center. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's really good music. I, the equation doesn't really work for me. Uh, that seems like too much of a risk uh, to be at a place like that. But yeah, yeah, people are not... Well, economists have known this for years. People are not good at all at <laughs> accurately judging risk and reward situations. We are, uh, frankly, terrible at economic thought. <laughs> yeah, so say uh, economists. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. So um, I don't know when this is going to open. So if, if the governor of Texas is right and... We're just getting through the backlog of cases. Eventually, we're gonna to come to the end of that backlog and the numbers, instead of going up, are gonna start going back down. I will feel better when we've been going downhill for a minimum of two weeks and maybe a minimum of four weeks continuously with no other flare-ups 
as long as we're still doing lots of testing and doing the testing properly. And until that happens, I can't give you a more definite uh, answer on uh, when any of this is going to happen. Oh, hello, kitty. Yeah. Hello, it's Archimedes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That must be lousy, being a musician and being stuck in and not able to play. And, yeah, I have no idea um, what you're even doing for money, but that sounds, yeah, like a bad situation. And there ought to be a way to do it. I don't know if they're going to have to put a big plexiglass up in front of the stage, but that's going to feel weird for people. But ultimately, yeah, if they're there for the music, then they can get over the plexiglass, I would think, or something. But... Um, I like that your focus is on keeping yourself and your band safe. I think that is definitely the right call here. And reluctantly, that is the one that I would be making, I think, uh, in your situation, which I'm not in, but yeah. Yeah, so, all right, so stay strong. And yeah, I hope that there is a way in the future, something outdoor and masked maybe, it's just a way to a way for you to do something and earn a living and do the thing that you like doing. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty important. Uh, we all gotta try and uh, keep our minds together and stay happy throughout uh, these fairly terrible times. So, thank you very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben. <laughs>